This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we are going over discovery options. Now, you'll notice whenever you use Nmap that it only out outputs to servers that are currently alive and operating. This is because it sends out something called an ICMP, aka Internet Control Message Protocol Echo, request to look for any devices that are currently alive. Now, by doing so, Nmap will save you time by giving you information because it's not going to be scanning anything that's offline. Nmap will also scan ports 80 and 443 because if ICMP is being blocked by a firewall or something similar, these two ports are most com commonly being used by web platforms. So basically, when you're scanning your network, you're only going to get the items that are open. If you want to scan more secure targets, then these alternate discovery options might be more useful. So first off, the first one that I wanted to show you today is called Don't Ping, which is used with the TAC-PN protocol. So sometimes you'll run into a target that seems to be offline. And Map will give you some kind of error that says something like, host seems down, blah, 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 try TAC-PN. So this is basically what it's telling you to do. TAC-PN will skip that first ping attempt and go ahead and do a deep scan of the target. So you would type in something like this, and Map, Tech, capital P, capital N, it ha both have to be capital. It's different if you don't capitalize those. And then your IP address. So I'm going to type in 10.73.31. Let's do 145. So you'll notice when it runs this second scan, it looks exactly like you would expect it to. Nothing has actually changed. This just gives it an alternate way to pick up some kind of request and response. So say you wanna just can't scan the network really, really quick to see which ones are online. You don't need to know about the names or the open ports. You can only do a ping only scan. So this is a completely different version. To do so, you'll type in something a little bit different. This time we'll type in a lowercase s capital P. So nmap tac lowercase s capital P for simple ping and then whatever your target is. So I'm gonna say 10.73.31. Let's do the entire network. So while this is running, it's going to just give me back a little bit of information about each target. So once your Nmap scan is done with a simple ping, you'll notice that it scans all the open targets, including all the closed ones, and it looks for all 256 IP addresses. 16 of these are up and scanned in 17 seconds. So this basically just tells you whether your IP address is up or if it's down. Now after the break, we're going to check out a couple of other alternative discovery options, but let's stay tuned for our sponsor. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard super, super fast into your computer. And we have an excellent idea from one of our forum members called Nucleus. In this script, he basically said it will quickly steal your chromed save passwords without leaving a trace. See, this is why you shouldn't save your passwords in a browser. Use a password manager, people, because people like Nucleus figure out what your passwords are. Now, we couldn't do this show without you, so we would like to thank you with something special. You can use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own signed hack tip stickers. And thank you so much to everyone that has been using that code. Thanks for supporting the show. We appreciate it. We're back. So we know how to do a regular scan and a couple of different discovery options, but there are so, so many more. I mean, seriously, I wish I could go through each and every one and show you examples, but pretty much they all look the same. They're just using different protocols to send out those requests. So say you wanna scan an item that is blocked by the regular ICMP ping that Nmap uses before it does a whole scan. You can also use something called TCP SYN ping instead. So this will make Nmap send out a SYN packet instead of an ICMP packet. It would look something like this. So I type in nmap and then TAC capital P capital S, again capitals, 10.73.31 and we'll use my .145 example again. 
And of course, it looks exactly the same when it comes out, but in this case, if ICMP was being blocked, this would get around it just fine. It usually sends out the packet via port 80, but you can change this by adding the port to your command. So in this case, if I wanted to add a port, and I'll just bring it back up, I would put TACPS and then start listing out the ports that I wanted to use. So I'll use port 80, I could use 443, I could use pretty much anything that I wanted, and it would still go through just fine. Now another option is if ICMP is b still being blocked, you could use TCP ACK packets, which is similar to the last command and is used for pretty much the same reason. So in this case, you would type nmap TAC capital P capital A and then your targets. So it's just the option that keeps changing. This one can also be used on other ports by adding the port numbers directly after the TAC PA command as well. So you see a pattern here? If one request doesn't return some kind of data from the target, you can always substitute it with another discovery option. With these above, we also have the TACPU option for UDP scans, TACPY for SCTP init scans, which is Stream Control Transmission Protocol. There's TACPE, which is used for ICMP, and pretty much is implied if new, no other option is given. So that's what you're usually using is TACPE. TACPP is an ICMP timestamp ping, which is useful for getting around firewalled targets. TACPM is ICMP address mask ping, which will occasionally be able to get through a firewall as well. And each of these additional options uses popular internet protocols to make sure that your NMAP network scans end up being exactly what you expected. So even if ICMP doesn't work for you, you can still get around that and get through those firewalls. Now, I had a lot of fun checking out all these different discovery options, but I'm really interested in knowing what kind of problems you have dealt with, with as far as getting around those kind of issues and what you would like to see me uh, study some more as far as discovery options are available. So let me know by commenting below or you can email us over at tips at hack5.org. If you really like N Nmap, of course, perhaps you'll enjoy our new show. It's called Metasploit Minute with Mubix airing every Monday at hak5.org. I'm having a lot of fun learning about Metasploit with Mubix. It's very enjoyable over there. And of course, you can check out our sister show, HAK5, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. And of course, I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist. See you next week. Bye. Welcome to Hack.